Hey everyone, so this is the Juice Kyer 90mm telescope and let me save you some pain by telling you some crucial things that you need to know about this uh, because if you don't know these things then you will not be able to see anything at night uh, you're not going to have any fun you, and you'll be really disappointed so once you get this thing you obviously want to set it up you know that part is pretty straightforward you just follow the instructions you know you set up the tripod then you attach the telescope to it you put in this little handle uh, insert this guiding scope put in the lens here and you're pretty much ready to uh, go but the next crucial step is to actually calibrate the telescope and i did not know that you have to do that and so i got super excited tried to look at things could not see anything but once i figured out how to calibrate it uh everything everything became super fun so to calibrate it you can do this during the day or uh, if you have the moon out you could do it at night as well basically what you want to do is you want to put on a 25 millimeter lens in here that offers the least amount of magnification you know you have your other lenses here the smaller they get the more magnification they provide so you want to make sure you're using this one right here and then you want to look through this lens directly at the object you're using to um, calibrate so if you're looking at night and you're looking at the moon you want to make sure the moon is directly in the center here once it's in the center you want to look through this guiding scope right here there's a little cross here and there and you want to make sure you that's focused directly on the moon and to do that you just basically um, adjust these little screws that you're gonna have right here mine uh, sadly broke off because my toddler knocked this over so make sure you guys are careful with yours it's very fragile if you drop it but you're gonna adjust those screws here and here until the little crosshair in here is pointing uh direct directly at the moon as well um, so once that's the case once this is looking directly at the same object as this then you know that your um, telescope is calibrated so once that's the case then you can actually look for things in the sky so if you want to look at jupiter for example you would point this at jupiter get the crosshair directly on jupiter and then you should see it in here if the thing is calibrated and then from then on you just uh, adjust the focus and you know and get it right um, because you know you're already you're pointing in the right direction you just need to get the focus right um, so make sure you guys don't miss this crucial step another super helpful tip would be to just get out one of those free apps that lets you see where planets are in the sky and they'll give you a general direction of where to look and then you can kind of point this little scope there and then see the planets in there so uh, i was able to see uh, jupiter mars uh, and saturn uh, pretty easily. I even saw the moons uh, of Jupiter just on my first day, you know, having like um, pretty much no experience with telescopes. So it definitely works if you know kind of or at least a little bit about, you know, how to use it. So hopefully those tips were helpful and will save you guys some pain. Um, and just to make sure I cover everything about the telescope, you know, I told you about the three lenses you have the 25 the 10 and the 5 you also have a barlow lens in here and that can go in between um basically in between here and whatever lens you're looking at so you know if you um, you can kind of combine magnifications if you use those lens lenses you also have this little device right here where you can put the lens inside here and attach it you know here and then you'll push your phone here, get the adjustments right, uh, adjustments right so that the uh, camera of the phone is pointing directly over here. And then you'll actually be able to record whatever you're looking at, or at least display it, you know, on the phone here. And that's super useful for kids because for them it's kind of hard to look through here and actually see something, because you know they have to get their eye in focus, and some of them can have trouble doing that. But if you put the, if you put the phone in here, and 
you know, it makes it very easy for them. You, they could just look at the phone and still see, you know, whatever the telescope is seeing. So that part is super um, helpful to make sure you guys figure out how to use this thing. You also have this little remote. I guess you could use an app that uh, comes with it and um, use it to take pictures and stuff like that. You'll get a little cloth to clean the lenses. A little stand right here. And these are the cases for the lenses. So they're protected when you're not using them. So pretty much all you need to kind of get started in this hobby. Um, and hopefully this was helpful. So this is me using the phone attachment uh, and recording what the telescope was seeing when I was looking at the moon. So it's pretty cool that you could see all the uh, craters on the surface. And I believe this is the 25 millimeter attachment. So you could technically uh, zoom in even closer with the other lenses. And right here, I'm looking at Jupiter and you can actually see four of its moons. So. Um, if you get this phone attachment to work, you can record everything that you're seeing uh, so you can review it later or show it to somebody else. So pretty, pretty cool.